Our second subtopic under the annuity is finding the number of payments of an ordinary annuity. Of the ordinary annuity, finding for F if A is given, we have to divide both sides by A and then multiplying both sides by I. The goal here is to find for the formula for N. The result will be Fi over A is equal to 1 plus I raised to N minus 1. And then adding 1 to both sides, that is Fi over A plus 1 is equal to 1 plus I raised to N. And then taking the logarithm of both sides, the result will be log of the quantity Fi over A plus 1 is equal to log of 1 plus I raised to N. Or, or bringing down N, so this is the result N times the log of 1 plus i, and then dividing both sides by log of 1 plus i, in order to find for the value of n, that is log of the quantity f i over a plus 1, all over log of 1 plus i. And then, finding for n again, if p is given, and so from the formula of p, if a is given, we have to divide both sides again by a, and then multiplying both sides by i, that is pi over a, and then adding 1 plus i raised to negative n and negative pi over a to both sides, the result will be 1 plus i raised to negative n is equal to 1 minus pi over a. And then taking the logarithm of both sides, that should be a, that is log of 1 plus i raised to negative n is equal to log of the quantity of 1 minus pi over a, or Taking down negative n from the log, that is negative n log of 1 plus i. And then dividing both sides by negative log 1 plus i, the n is equal to log of the quantity of 1 minus pi over a, all over negative log of 1 plus i. First example, Rina deposits today 200,000 pesos in a bank which pays interest at 12% converted quarterly. She wishes to make 30,000 pesos quarterly withdrawals from her account starting three months after the deposit date. How many regular withdrawals of 30,000 pesos can she have? So given P is equal to 200,000 pesos because it is deposited today, J is 0.12, M is 4, and so I is equal to 0 0.03, and A is 30,000. We have to find for the value of N. That is the regular withdrawals. That is the number of regular withdrawals which Rinam can have for her deposit of 200,000 pesos. And so using this formula, n is equal to log of 1 minus pi over a all over negative log of 1 plus i. Substituting for the values, that is log of 1 minus 200,000 times 0 0.03 divided by 30,000 all over negative log of 1 plus 0 0.03 and then the result of this quantity will be equal to 0.8 and then the result of this quantity will be equal to 1.03 the result of log of 0.8 is negative 0 0.09691 and then the result of log of 1.03 is equal to 0 0.012837 and then dividing these two values the n is equal to 7.55, that is the number of regular withdrawals and number of payments of the bank to RINA. The second example, Richard makes monthly deposits of 2,500 in a bank which pays 9% converted monthly until he accumulates 70,000 pesos in his account. How many regular deposits should he make? So given... A is 2,500, J is 0 0.09, M is 12, I is 0 0.0075, dividing this two, and so F is 70,000 pesos. We have to find for the number of regular deposits of Richard. And so using this formula, substituting for the values, that is log of 70,000 times 0 0.0075 divided by 2,500 plus 1, all over log of 1 plus 0 0.0075. The resulting value of this quantity will be equal to 1.21 and then the result of this one is 1.0075 0 
Then the result of log of 1.21 is 0 0.082785. And the result of log of 1.0075 is equal to 0 0.003245. And so our N is equal to 25.51 number of regular deposits by Richard. And so that is it for our second subtopic under the annuity for your questions. Just comment down.